lesson from the dead. If we don't come together right now on this hollow ground, we too will be destroyed. You make sure that they remember forever the night they played the Titans. Remember the Titans, a top five sports movie of all time. The film starred peak Denzel Washington, a young Ryan Gosling, produced intense racial cinematic moments, yet found a way to still be inspirational and heartfelt. Its cinematic ingredients is what makes it an all-time classic. They said the movie was based off a true story, but did Hollywood stick to the script? Let's find out. Hello, and welcome to Sports Vaults, presented by Data Productions, uncovering the untold, lost, and forgotten files of the sports world. In the late 1990s, screenwriter Gregory A. Howard wrote a screenplay called Remember the Titans, based on the true story of T.C. Williams High School in Alexandria, Virginia. Jerry Bruckheimer and Walt Disney Pictures bought the script based on the fact that it is a true story. But much of the film's content is fictional. Gregory Howard admitted to ESPN writer Jeff Marin that he made some big assumptions when writing this script. Though the film is not entirely historically accurate, it is successful because it appeals to Americans through its intense emotional drama, its powerful music, and its strong characterization. So the first question arises, was T.C. Williams High School integrated in 1971? No. T.C. Williams High School was integrated in 1965. The school board elected to merge three high schools into one school. The class size tripled, resulting in a larger talent pool. Its success was more attributed to consolidation than integration. Many players in the last 10 years have come out and told different media outlets that the racial tension portrayed in Remember the Titans did not exist. In a Washington Post article, Bill Yost's friend, Patrick Welsh, stated that my friend Bill Yost told me Disney had taken liberties with the facts, suggesting an overheated atmosphere of racial anonymities and fears at the school and in the community that just hadn't existed. Now, we are not saying that there wasn't any racial tension at this time in Virginia, because there was. But at that time, we are just saying that all the schools were integrated at this juncture. The movie portrayed that the Titans played all white schools, but obviously that wasn't the case for the time period. And the memorable banana scene with Coach Tyrell was completely made up for racial theatrics. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Wake up, gentlemen. It's late. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. The Gettysburg scene is a classic showcase of cinematography. While the football team did train at Gettysburg, the 3 a.m. run didn't happen, and the real coach Boone wasn't giving a history lesson slash speech. There was the tour guide. This is where they fought the Battle of Gettysburg. 50,000 men died right here on this field, fighting the same fight that we're still fighting amongst ourselves today. This green field right here, painted red, bubbling with the blood of young boys, smoke and hot lead pouring right through their bodies. Listen to their souls, man. Ronnie Sunshine Bass really wasn't a long-haired hippie from California either. Bass did come from California, but to portray him as a hippie is a bit of an exaggeration. I was never quite like that, Bass told the Greenville, South Carolina News. But that's Hollywood. I'll say for the record my hair was never that long. In fact, a lot of his teammates had long hair, including Gary Bertier. Next on the list, coach Yost's daughter Cheryl 
was never a football fanatic, but she was at every game. And hey, why don't you go accessorize? Don't you want to go accessorize with me? And Yost really didn't get a Hall of Fame snub in real life, like the movie portrayed. The only reason he didn't get into the Virginia High School Football Hall of Fame was because there wasn't one. Hey, Coach Coon! <laughs> The scene where a brick was thrown through Coach Boone's window was surprisingly an under-exaggeration from the real truth. A toilet was actually thrown through the window, but the writers switched the object because they didn't want to make the audience laugh. famous dancing scene never happened either. While this scene is one of my favorites, it was added solely for cinematic flair. To close this story up, no, the Titans were not the underdogs the movie show. The Titans almost always were heavy favorites and outscored opponents by a whopping 338 points to 38. That included 9 shutouts and a 27-0 state championship game win. And the part of the movie where Gary Bertier is paralyzed due to a car accident is partly true. Bertier was paralyzed in a car accident, but the accident actually happened after the season. And he played in the state title game. And there you have it, the truth and real story behind Remember the Titans. Hopefully you learned something new today and understand Hollywood doesn't always keep the script straight. So you must research yourself. What's your take on this topic? Did you like the movie? Let me know your thoughts below in the comments and subscribe for more investigation content like this. This was Sports Vaults, presented by Data Productions. See you next time. <laughs>